Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's Dan here from Sports Cards UK, and in today's video, we have another Mail Monday. So, we have four parcels to open up in today's video. Let's go this side. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into the video and get these things open. Right, now we have someone that's put my government name on here to Mr. Keane. Let's see what we have in here for package number one. Oh, we've got, we've got a parcel and a parcel, it looks like. Very well packaged. Bit of pass the parcel action going on here. Oh, very nice. Now, oh, do you know what? I can't remember who this was from. I'd have to double check. Um, it was a bit stream, but this is a beauty. Look how thick this card is. And I'm glad. Someone actually did say to me, don't ship cards in one touches. In this case, it's absolutely fine because he's double, double bubble mailed it. And I've never heard of it before. But let me know if you have heard that. Apparently, it can damage the cards. Um, so I'm not sure. But this is an immaculate game used. So it's uh, match worn, game used, guaranteed by Panini, immaculate Danny Alves, number to 99. Beautiful card um, of one of, if not the best fullbacks I remember watching growing up. There's a few contenders, don't get me wrong. Maldini played left back at some point, Roberto Carlos. Danny Alves, Marcelo, one of the most, I think Danny Alves, is it Marcelo or Danny Alves is one of the most winningest players of the Champions League. It might be Danny Alves. No, it must be Marcelo. I'll double check that, but it's either one of them. But, yeah, of more recent times, if we're not, not counting Roberto Carlos, it's got to be between Danny Alves and Marcelo. Has to be. Can you name anyone else? Let me know down in the comments. But I don't think you can. I think it's Danny Alves. And that's a beauty. So that's a very, very good start, really, in terms of a pickup. Don't necessarily go for fullbacks, but when it's legends of match worn, game worn patches, number to 99, immaculate as well, stunning set. Don't think you can go badly wrong. Now, an interesting one. I haven't picked up a Pokemon card in God knows how long. However, um, I did, this is 99p and I did need this for part of the celebrations collection. So uh, a bit of a shame it didn't come in a top loader, but oh well, um, I'm not really going for condition um, in this set. So it doesn't really matter too much to me. Now, next up we have, what's in here? Oh, it says freebie, better, ne better luck next time. What's happening here then? Oh, was this my... Awful Chronicles, yeah. So shout out to, um, is it Crypt Cards? How's my memory? I'll tell, any, I'll tell everyone that I don't remember names. Look at that, I'm quite, quite impressed with that. Crypt Cards UK. Oh, that's well kind of him. He's actually offered, he's actually given me a Tavernier. I'll drop him a message actually. That's really, really kind of him to do that. He dropped me a Tavernier because I think I had three teams in this entire break. One of them being Man City in a Chronicles break. And I only hit one card. I had three teams, for God's sake. But you never know. If Samar Samardic becomes the best player in the world, I could be all right. But I think I spent about near on 30 quid for one card. So it was a disaster of a break. And it's why I don't typically enter breaks. But it's not Crypt Cards' fault at all. Um, I stupidly bid... I think it was £15 a spot, but I, I, there was Man United left, and I was really hoping for a, to try and get Man United so I could get a nice uh, David Beckham auto. I didn't end up getting that at all. I ended up getting Udinese. Um, Sam, no, was it Espanol or Sampdoria or terrible, terrible Spanish team? And then um, Man City. So I was quite happy with Man City. I thought, oh, yeah, here we go. Not a single card. And I think you only get... Because how Chronicles works is you get the three leagues and then you get maybe 15 to 10 cards, 10 to 15 cards um, in each box. 
there must have been, I'm kidding you not, about five or six Tottenham cards. I was thinking, get rid of one of them, stick a City card in there, and I'll be happy bunny. But I wasn't. I laughed at it, it's fine. But, actually, when someone doesn't do well on a break and they spend a bit of money and you give them a free card like this, an aqua prism of, of Tavernier, who's a very, very good player... Um, I watched him a bit in, in actually in the Europa League this season, um, and he looks to be a very very interesting player. He's English as well, so maybe maybe one day he'll um, he'll make the uh, the English team. But I believe he's a fullback, and we're very we're very very competitive in terms of fullbacks at the moment. So it's very very difficult to kind of get in the England team as a fullback. We've got Reese James, Chilwell, um, Trippier. We've got Trent Alexander Arnold. Uh, we've just got so many players. Luke Shaw. I'm going left and right now. Um, there's tons. Carl Walker. There's tons. I could keep going, but um, yeah, James Tavernier hasn't made it in there yet. But I would like him. I'd like to see him in there. Shake it up a bit. Now for the penultimate package. Before we go on to the eBay package, it looks like it's going to take ten hours to get into. At least it's packaged well. We have. Oh, might get the old tool out here. Looks like we might have a graded card, which we haven't had so far. Oh, I think I know what this is. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, this came quick. Wow, I'm impressed with this. This is super speedy. This is from Jamie UK Card Collector. Um, and these are, look at this. I think it was me and AC Collectibles that were bidding on this. He's got very good taste because we keep outbidding each other on bits. And he's always on the bit streams I'm on. And I'm always one of the ones he's on. Well, that's the same thing. Duh. Um, but we're always outbidding each other, and we're always. And I, I will not bid on five cards, and then something like this, a Michel Platini foil sticker comes up, and I'm thinking, is AC Collectibles in the stream? Nah, he's not in every one. Has he hasn't bid on anything, and he's the first bid in, and I'm like, oh, here we go, here we go again. It's me and AC Collectibles constantly outbidding each other, and we we look at we, I'm looking at the comments going, I know he wants this one, but so do I. We ended up we end up going probably over comps because we end up outbidding each other. But this is an absolute beautiful sticker, one I've never even seen before. So as soon as I saw it, I had to have it. Um, this is Michelle Platini and the Juventus kit. Um, I wanted to say this is from '86, something like that, around late '80s, I believe. I have absolutely no idea. Can't remember, so I'd have to double check. Um, I do own one of these, and the centering is just as terrible as this. Um, but I decided to pick up another one because I'm going to send this one, one of the ones that I've got off for grading. Um, and I might send one to PSA, one to SGC. But this is your David Silva rookie card. Now, if you ever get one of these, don't try and peel off the back. I almost nearly did that for the first time. And actually, when I opened this card up, I thought, oh my God, the person sent me the wrong card until I flipped it over. And it is a double-sided card, so don't get caught out. Um, I always thought, like, if you grade something with SGC or PSA... One of the reasons they ask you what card you're grading and you ask you to fill out a form is it would be an absolute nightmare if you had um, Mikel Arigi Alberdi as an SGC graded card with David Silver on the back and you have this as the back and this is the front. That would be a nightmare. So um, it does make a lot of sense why you do submission forms for the, uh, the graded guys because in situations like this, you won't want to get this guy graded. You want to have the David Silver rookie. And for the final, Pierre de Resistance, or Piste de, is it Pierre de, Piste de Resistance? Pierre, it can't be Pierre, can it? Piste de Resistance? Um, before we go into the last parcel, which I completely forgot about for a second, we have, and I picked up a one of these, uh, uh, this is the second Fernando Torres card I picked up from, um, uh, hang on, I'm trying to, I've got a bit of a stack of, slabs here that i'm just kind of I'm just sorting out into um taking pictures of but i did pick up another 
Torres slab off Jamie, um, off his first stream that I, I joined. I think he's done three streams and I've got something from every single stream, so shout out to him. I picked up this one. This is from 2004. Now, this one's a little bit earlier than the 2006, but how good are the Mundy Chromo designs? I don't know what it is. It's just something so like early 2000s, 90s about these cars. I just think they're really, really fun to look at. Cool designs. I love the sort of like metallic look to them. They're almost like chrome finishing. Absolutely love these. The purple on that card is brilliant, but the green on this card, green, red, and green. You've got all the colors on the, the primary colors on here. You've got red, yellow. You haven't got yellow, red. Well, a little bit of yellow, sort of. A night tick there. I'm waffling, but this is a PSA 8. Um, not a bad grade, not a, not a, not the best grade, but not necessarily a bad grade for these. I can imagine there's print lines, and I can imagine these aren't the easiest to grade. I can imagine the corners get quite soft, it being a metallic card from 2005. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think people genuinely forget. I mean, Fernando Torres was... I, I remember him at Liverpool quite well, and I remember him... Don't, I don't, I'll be I'll totally honest with you, I'm not the biggest football... Um, fan and I never will claim I, I, I am or, or never cl will claim that I will I, I am or have been or will be so I don't necessarily do remember I'll be honest I don't really remember his time at Atletico only towards the end of the Atletico before he went to Liverpool but I do remember his time at Liverpool and Chelsea and he was special he was fantastic to watch um, just unbelievable very very good striker um, and uh, yeah, a joyous player to watch. And I think I had this football as well. I keep this exact football in the in the garden, and I believe he's wearing potentially wearing some total nineties as well. Which I uh, yes, I did go to the school disco um, in year six wearing my Astro Turf total nineties because I was a football lad, and that is what football lads do. And yes, I did wear jeans with my total nineties, and yes, I did have a flame shirt as well. So get at me. If anyone's seen that meme of this is the year six school disco, that I, I was that kid. I was still trying to look for a photo. I think my mum's got one somewhere, but I am I'm the epitome of that meme. Now I'm opening this one down here because it is going to be a little bit tough to open because, um, yeah, we're safe. Because um, it's got my address on it. Oh, actually, I should be okay just slipping it out. Like this. I don't know if there's anything in here. That might be just filler. Just get everything out of there. Just yeah, that's it. Um, shout out to Gum Cards. Is it? No. It is Gum Cards. There we go. I thought I recognised the leaflet. Right now, I don't think there's anything in here. But this is a nice little freebie. Thanks for that. I don't know if they meant to put that in there, but I'm going to be using that. Thank you. Let's not put that with the rubbish. And what have I ordered from Gun Cards? I think it was a slab. Yeah, I think I've ordered a couple of slabs from them. This is one of them. So this is a nice... Um, I think I've already had the other slab, actually, I did order from them. But this is a nice Panini Copper America Neymar Argentina sticker. Uh, not that early, but early-ish sticker of, uh, of Neymar. And um, I really don't own that much Neymar. And this is particularly for me to sell at the London Card Show. It's a cheap slab. It's only a PSA 7. But stickers don't always grade that well. Um, so I don't know what the population is this on is on this. Um, I will have a look at the pop report. Sometimes I do actually. If it's something is a pop one. If something is a pop one. Um, I will when I'm putting it in the card case. I'll With the price. I will put pop one with it. So if someone sees it in the showcase, they can go, oh, it's a pop one. It's quite interesting. No one's ever graded one of those before. Now, if this is a pop one, someone might not be that interested because someone might go, well, it's a seven. And actually, it's probably a pop one because how many have been graded? Oh, there's only 20. Um, that either means it's hard, they're quite hard to grade. Loads of the ones that have gone into PSA have been in not that great condition. PSA may be harsh. Maybe the centering is tough on all of them. Y you never really know. But in the case of something being like this, that's probably a pop one for two reasons. There probably hasn't been that many, like thousands of these graded. 
but also a nine for a, a 2004 Mundi Chromo is pretty good. Um, so that I can imagine that's in a population of at least less than 10, if not a pop one. I think that one is a pop one. But I decided to have a bit of Neymar in the um, showcase. I saw this coming up on bids. I think it was a 99p starting bid. So I thought, yeah, I'll keep my eyes on that and I'll just see how see how that goes. And it wasn't that expensive. So I think I've got a bit of room there to be able to, to sell that at a nice price. Um, it's not going to be a 50 quid slab or anything silly. Um, but it'll be a nice cheap slab for a Neymar fan, a Brazil fan, a PSG fan, Barcelona fan. There'll be a few people that want to pick up Neymar and... Um, it's a nice cheaper cheaper card to pick up of Neymar. We're not talking RPAs and well, he doesn't have an RPA, but we're not talking Santos stickers or we're not talking autos, patches. We're just talking like a nice cheap PSA graded Neymar slab. And I don't think you can go wrong with that. So actually a very interesting Mail Monday. We we've, we've had a break in here. We've got Pokemon. We've got graded stuff. We've got stuff in um, mags. But overall forget these three which that's for a collection and this was an awful break but shout out to crypt cards for the extra card i think that's a nice touch these in my opinion are the sorts of cards that you want to be out on the look for these are the sorts of cards that you can either keep because they're going to appreciate in value or a safe bets in my opinion early fernando torres cards can't go wrong Danny Alves, Immaculate. Immaculate's a very good set. Match-worn is always what you want to go for, not player-worn. Platini stickers that are foil. I mean, that just looks great, but obviously Platini was a fantastic player. A little bit risky because of what happened with the uh, the FIFA um, allegations and uh, bribes and other bits and pieces, but cannot deny his playing. He was one of the best French players to ever play the game. If not, apart from... Uh, he's... Is he better than Zidane? I'd say second to Zidane. Mate, ooh, Henri. Oh, that's tough. Henri was very good, wasn't he? I'd say joint second. Let's go Zidane, joint second with Henri. I'm playing it safe. I'm copping out. Um, a nice David Silva rookie. Can't go wrong, in my opinion, with the early Monday Chromo rookies. Especially for someone like David Silva, who was pivotal and one of the best Spanish players we've ever seen in the Premier League, if not the best. And Neymar as well. Um, everyone loves Neymar. Of, of recent times, one of the most exciting football players um, to watch. Maybe hasn't had the career he we all hoped he could have had. Um, maybe someone might argue he's under, not underachieved. That might be a bit harsh, but... I think it, I, it's a funny one because I feel, no, I'm not, I'm not going to go there, but I, 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 I've i nearly, I've I've been there and I've mentioned about PSG, I'm underachieving with Neymar, Messi and, and, and uh, Mbappe, but I think he has had a good career, but a lot of, he's been a lot, in, he's a bit of a, I suppose he's a bit of a show pony and I think he does like the media attention, but there's a lot, of, a lot of media attention, um, but I'm not. I'm not one to judge. I know some people have not always some nice things to say about him, but uh, he's undeniably a, one of the. I'd say he's probably one of the most iconic recent players of our time. I'd imagine. Um, I don't think many people would argue with that that statement. But there we are. I hope you have enjoyed this Mail Monday. Um, I certainly have. If you have, uh, you know what to do. Drop a big like on the video. It does really, really help out the channel. Um, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Um, you're welcome to join the Sports Cards UK members page for $1.99. You get special videos, um, emotes, emojis, all sorts, a community tab. And uh, yeah, don't hit, forget to hit that bell notification so that you don't miss a video. And I will see you on the next Sports Cards UK video. Mail Monday video. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.